Hey, GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. We're here at the Gathering 2021, the Palmetto State Armory sponsored event at the Sawmill in Lawrence, South Carolina. Ron from Riker's back with us. If you missed the video on the sling, you need to go check that out. We teased the Riker grip in that video. You're gonna tell us about that now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the Riker grip, I initially invented it for pain management. Prior to retiring from the Marine Corps, I had bilateral shoulder and elbow surgeries and continued to work in the, the capacity post-retirement as a gunfighter. And what I have found through all of the training, which was similar to what I had done for 20 years, my support arm was painfully going numb on me. And I found myself coming back to the magwell, which I consider an inferior firing position uh, when trying to be, remain dynamic. I just started uh, taking existing products and cutting them up, melting them, and um, I ruined a couple of my, uh, my wife's pans. To this day, she still uh, won't let me forget. Stand by. Up. So the Riker grip is unique because it works on everything. Shotguns, scars, AKs, ARs, PCCs. We even have clients who've had a piece of Picatinny rail professionally mounted to their bolt action and added a Riker grip to their bolt action to help them have a more stable platform when in their tree stand. The Riker grip comes out of the box set up for a right-handed shooter. It is ambidextrous. It's 3.25 ounces. You have your horizontal set screw. You pull this out, you can flip the grip around for a left or right-handed shooter. And then up here you have your two mounting screws that go into the Picatinny uh, mounting uh, bracket. Uh, this gun has two on here because we're at an event and for demonstration purposes, you don't need two grips on your gun. The uh, Riker grip comes with a standard Picatinny mounting option and we will talk about the other mounting options later. The, we say the, uh, the learning curve for a new shooter or experienced shooter for the, to, to adapt to the Riker method of shooting with a shotgun on a semi 16 shells on a, any type of shoulder, other shoulder fighter weapon, we're saying probably two mags, some singles, some up downs, you know, some singles, some doubles, triples, and then going to like three target transition, uh, double tap, like center, left, right, boom, boom, boom. So you can actually see the benefit of the transition and how much more control just putting your arm out up to the side will give you. Right. Up. Okay. And then we'll go triples, up. <laughs> And then we'll add on. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I like it. All right. That's when you come into a good low ready and come off safe. And stand by. Up. Single shot. Nice. Stand by. Up. Stand by. Up. Nice. Doubles. Doubles. Stand by. Up. Stand by. Up. Stand by. Up. Triples, triples, stand by. Up. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna introduce you to um, one of the benefits of the Riker method is being the, the independent suspension kind of thing, the tank turret, it turns your body into. Yeah. So your upper body mobility just seems to be increased. So we're gonna start, we're gonna line up uh, in between these two targets. And I'm just going to come on up. We'll start with single shot. And I'm just going to say, stand by. Left. Come on up. Stand back. Stand by. And then we'll add on, we'll work up to doubles. Ready. Right. Come on up. Okay. All right. So single shot, single shot. Two targets. Two targets. Two stand targets. by. Ready. Right. Good. Stand by. Left. Stand by. Right. Stand by. Mm. Doubles, doubles. Stand right. by. Left. Uh. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Ready. Right. Woo. Stand by. Left. Nice. Boom! Oh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna fall. Perfect finish. I knew it was gonna fall. <laughs> Poetic justice. Um, awesome. Let me go I like that, get. Man. That is cool. Yeah, you're getting it. That is. All right, so I'm gonna go get a couple more mags. All right. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go down, and we're going to. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna do a uh, four-target engagement. Okay. Um, and now you're gonna be able to get to see like, 
really being able to drive to move it. drive it. Yeah, and then we'll work into some shooting and moving. Alright. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna say two, four, three, one. And we're gonna start singles. Yep. Okay. Alright, and then we'll progress into double. So three, two, one, four. Hit me in the dick with the brass. That was it. Bottom left corner. All right, let's go triples. Right. Up. There we go. Up. Ready. Oh, the Humvee, I mean, yeah. you know, that's the super cool factor there. What's wrong? Just put a rooftop tent on it. <laughs> well, but then the I couldn't have the machine gun mounted. That's right. Well. Yeah, I think you could just put the tent over this. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. You can take yeah. <laughs> now traditional, especially on a shotgun, traditional methods of shooting, I'm applying grip strength to a pump, I'm holding the weight of the gun up and trying to pull it down to manage the recoil, and then I'm having to pull it back. And that's a, that's that's a lot to really, you know, if you're thinking about accuracy and whether you're using a shotgun for home defense or competition or hunting, that's still a lot of movement there. <clears throat> so just by placing the Riker grip out to the side, I have rearward pressure into my shoulder. This in itself is going to help me control that recoil. But just by placing the hand out to the side from going underneath, I'm opening up my upper body. So I'm no longer holding the weight of the gun up, isolating an individual muscle group. Because I'm going out to the side and I'm not holding it up, I'm pulling it back. That is what's going to help reduce and slow down that fatigue factor. On a shotgun, what's super unique on the shotgun is when you shoot, because I already have that rearward pressure, when you shoot and that slide comes back, it's going to help you actually pull, pull the muzzle down and cut that arc of that recoil in half. Wow. Come back and you're right back on target. Super easy, super comfortable. Um, we say the heavier the gun, the higher the caliber and or full auto, you recognize the benefit of the Riker grip instantly. Hmm. Thinking about AKs, heavier rounds, or full auto shooting suppressed, right? When you're going two, three, four mags deep into your, your sequence of fire, that gun is hot. Even with the glove, that gun is hot enough where you're not really thinking about marksmanship, you're thinking about pain management. Not getting burned. Yeah, not getting burned. <laughs> this, we say, no glove, no heat, so benefit to that. Think about law enforcement. Think about guys who, who on these task force and SWAT officers who always have a kit in the back of their truck, they have to jump into action. The two things they're probably not gonna be putting on, ear pro and gloves, right? Yep. So the glove, the glove, no glove, no heat. It completely, and, and when you shoot, if you get on it, you get on some full auto and you get, you know, you get your gun pretty hot, when you take your hand off and then you reach by, you know, just by accident, grab the gun, you will Ooh. quickly be reminded like, wow, you'll see the benefit of that instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, thanks for that. Uh, we're gonna hit the range and do a demo here in a bit, but first, why don't you tell us that you had some new information on mounting options, right? Yeah, we so, got a, We got a couple new things coming out, and uh, um, so we're going to come back and do another video. Here we on go. That. You're going to have to come back and see that one. Okay. Till then, we'll see you at the range. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.